Yeah. This is very interesting. And, um, you know, I really hadn't heard much about this, um, which is odd because you would think something this big, everybody would know, but I didn't. And uh, somebody, it may have been Captain Bruce, I'm not sure, but I think somebody sent this to me. And uh, not this, but the whole idea of the, or that the whole thing about the, uh, the earthquake in Morocco and how horrendous it has been. It has been really, really bad. Um, so let's look at this because, not surprisingly, this happened before the earthquake in Morocco. Now, I've heard of earthquake lights. I'm sure we all have, but what the heck is this? Let's just make this bigger and... Yeah, that's not an earthquake light. That's a laser. <laughs> Or something. And that's not lightning. They say large lightning appears before earthquake in Morocco with unknown causes. That's not lightning. That's not any kind of lightning I've ever seen. Um, I've seen earthquake lightning, not in person, but I've seen videos of earthquake lightning. It looks nothing like that. So I don't know, but that whole thing, I really do believe that these uh, direct energy weapons have been deployed worldwide. I really do. I think that we are not, you know, people are thinking, oh, it's, it's our government doing this to us. Um, yeah, along with a whole lot of other governments as well. And somebody, well, we'll get into that in a minute here. Let's go back. Um, yes, um, maybe, maybe this is the best time to talk about it, but uh, because a lot of people are under the impression that China did this in Hawaii. And I could not be more opposed, even though I did look at the evidence that people were, were giving. But it doesn't make sense because people are saying that China attacked Hawaii. No, no, no. You've got to follow the money. What, for what reason would China attack Lahaina? And did China block the people in? Did China, you know, shut off the water? Did, did China, you know, literally prevent people from escaping the fire? Um, no. Did China decide that Lahaina was going to be a smart city and Maui was going to be a smart island? Um, did China decide that? No, they didn't. Um, did China put that particular um, uh, sheriff where he was? Did China make him coroner as well? I mean, it does not make sense. And if it does not make sense, I can't accept it, no matter how good the evidence is. Because things generally make sense, and you've got to follow the money. Who is gaining from Lahaina being burnt down? Well, it isn't China. China's not gaining anything. It's the people and the government there, and some of the people like Oprah and people like that. That's who is benefiting from it, not China. So I can't accept that China was involved. And I do believe, you know, now I do believe that there are many uh, governments of the world that are using these do energy weapons, or at least there is a cabal somewhere that is using them. I don't know, but it is being reported worldwide. And Morocco, I believe, personally, was was that as well. So let's go on because we've got some really interesting stuff to get to, and I probably shouldn't have taken that time to chat, but I did, so it's too late now. All right. Now, this is revolting beyond revolting, and I don't know whether to believe it or not. It says it's been fact-checked, but I'm not sure I completely trust this website. I'm just saying, not sure that I completely trust them. I'm not saying that they're lying. I'm just saying I'm not sure I completely trust them. Evil WEF scientists create human-like entity that has no mother or father. Now, it sounds like something that they would do. Absolutely. WEF-linked scientists have announced that they have created the world's first human-like, human-like entity that has no mother 
or father. According to the reports, the human-like creature was created without using sperm, an egg, or a womb. Scientists report that they have grown the early stages of a human embryo-like entity without using sperm, an egg, or a womb. The embryo model even releases hormones that triggered a positive pregnancy test. The team of WEF researchers boast that they were able to create a human entity without a mother or father by starting with uh, naive stem cells. Um, instead of a sperm and egg, the starting material was naive stem cells which were reprogrammed to gain the potential to become any type of tissue in the body, which I believe is called pluripotent. They, they become whatever uh, you need them to become. Um, ZeroHedge.com reports, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe there's more truth to this. According to the BBC, chemicals were used to encourage these stem cells to develop into four unique cell types that are involved in the early stages of human embryo development. Uh, epiblast cells, which become the embryo proper or the fetus, uh, trophoblast cells, which become the placenta, uh, hypoblast cells, which become the supportive yolk sac, and the extra embryonic uh, mesoderm cells. Those cell types were then mixed in a precise ratio and what happened next is extremely alarming. A total of 120 of these cells were mixed in a precise ratio and then the scientists step back and watch. About 1% of the mixture began the journey of spontaneously assembling themselves into a structure that resembles but is not identical to a human embryo. Professor, Professor Jacob Hanna of the Wiseman Institute is the leader of the team that conducted this research and he claims that the entity which was produced is really a textbook image of a human 14-day embryo. This is really a textbook image of a, 14, of a human day 14 embryo which hasn't been done before, said Professor Hanna. Oh, great progress.